Hi everyone, welcome to the guide on how to cut three models into separate pieces for 3D printing with BuildBee. For this demo, we're going to use a Megalodon from Sea of Thieves, uploaded to the Thingiverse by Mordecane. The link to this file is in the description if you want to try it yourself. So we can see from this model that the Megalodon is not ideal for 3D printing, and we would normally need a lot of supports to print this. That's why we're going to cut it into three pieces, the head, the body, and the tail, so that it will print entirely without support. Let's make sure our model is selected and open up the split tool. We see here the yellow plane that the model will be split along and some instructions. Let's orient the plane with the neck of the meg using the rotate handles and get it into position. That looks good, so we'll press confirm split and get the process started. We won't add any connectors to this one today. Now that it's done, we can see that it's separated the meg into two parts, which can be moved and oriented separately. So let's have a look at this tail. I'm going to try and get just the tail covered by the cutting plane and make sure the angle of the cut will remove the need for support when printing this. That looks pretty good, so let's cut it again. There we go, now we have the tail separated off, and it looks like it can self-support when printing. Perfect. Now, we have the body of the Meg oriented to the wrong face. We want the one we cut originally on the bed. There's an easy solution to this. We can simply click Layout and use the Face to Base tool. Click on the face we want on the print bed and we're ready to print. Let's just arrange these a bit and then we can 3D print as normal. Coming off the print bed, the Megalodon is finished without needing any support, and it looks even better for it. A little bit of super glue later, and we have our scary looking Megalodon ready to snack on some unwitting pirates. I hope you find this guide helpful, and if you have any questions or comments about this process, you can comment below or visit the hive at buildbee.com, where all the new ideas and features we have are available for you to check out and review.